Okay, week 25 cool otaku vid. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so anyway, uh, this one's about favorite ending, worst ending, anime manga, whatever, stuff like that. I'm going to talk, like I said, like what you call it, XM1. I don't have it like that. I'm going to talk about my favorite, you know, ending, which would be Yu Yu Hakusho. Because the series pretty much tied up all loose ends. You know what I'm saying? When you when you, when you get to the end, it's like, okay, I got a pretty good idea where they're going to go. It would have been nice to see a little bit of it. But you already know what was going to happen. Yusuke was shacking up, you know, with the love of his life, whatever. Uh, cool Bond, he did a 180 on us. He's getting all um, intellectual and stuff like that. But we pretty much know what he's going to do. They all going to live right by. And the good thing about this is before the, well, at the beginning of the last season, they showed another person that used to be a spirit hunter. And she, I mean, a spirit detective. And they showed what her life was. She said, I left all that stuff behind me. I didn't, uh, what you call them, uh, what's the name, uh, 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 Sensory, whatever. They show different people, lives of people that, that used to be it. And, you know, used to be a spirit detective. And now they moved on. And now you see where, the, you know, pretty much the story is taken. And it's like, okay, the story's ending. You know what I'm saying? You know somebody else is doing some spirit detective stuff right now. But with these guys, the story's ended. Even with, um, uh, what's her name, um, how did I forget this lady name? You know the person that trained him, the evil old lady. What's her name? What's her I know her name. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, let's forget it. Y'all know what I'm talking about, old lady, purple hair, whatever. We get to see what kind of lives these people lived after they did what they done and they went to like normal lives. They're gonna be normal people. It's not gonna be, okay, who's next in line to do super such and such and such and such. You know what I'm saying? These guys have finished that and all loose ends are tied up. We find out about everything. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a little bit to be left, like I said, I mean, to the imagination, like exactly how it's gonna play out, but we know what's gonna happen. And there's no real, there's no real flaws to it. Not even doing the storyline. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things I think like uh, Yusuke was just getting too lucky, you know, for a while. After, um, once, uh, what you call it, the dog tournament started, then it was, you know, I was cool. Uh, the beginning of it, just great, awesome. And then we had a couple of little, uh, little things we were just like, nah, he's getting too, little, too lucky. Then we, once, once we got to the dog tournament, I was, it, was, it was just awesome. You know what I'm saying? So like the, the story was just good all the way from beginning, all the way through to the end. I only had like two gripes for really. it. And then the ending was just like, I wanted a little, you know, to see a little flash or something like that, but that's not a flaw. That's just something, you know, they left me with more to be imagined. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? More to, to think about. So it was just like a flawless ending. Y'all know what it was. It wasn't nothing you can complain about. So that's why I said that the Yu Yu Hockey Show ending was my favorite ending. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And now we can do um leave reaction. Go ahead and leave a reaction so I know what you know how you take this vid. And go ahead and comment, rate, subscribe, and in my in the description box below is my uh is my uh information, you know, from my channel or whatnot, go ahead and subscribe today and I'm out. Peace.